and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how to make the cutest 3d paper squishy snowman and it's the first official episode of flomus i am so excited for this series because it's gonna be one of the most fun i've ever filmed and honestly december is one of the happiest months of the year and this is how the squishy is going to turn out at the end when we follow all of the steps a two layer snowman with a bunch of cute details and accessories this paper squishy is so easy to make and you can even personalize it to make it your own. And it's going to be really satisfying to play with, so let's just get started into the tutorial. The materials you'll be needing is paper, a pencil, some markers, tape, some scissors, and a ruler. But if you don't have a ruler, don't worry, you can use any straight edge you have around your house. Okay guys, so the first step on making this 3D paper squishy snowman is making the cube template on the piece of paper. And since we're making two layers, the head and the body, we're going to be making two templates, but let's just start on the body first. So I'm going to start out like far left of the page and draw a straight line down. Then I'm going to move my ruler this way and we're just going to measure out how long we want it. I'm just going to make mine medium sized as always, but you guys can make it smaller or bigger. So I'm going to make it about this width. So then I'm just going to place my ruler right here and I'm going to draw a straight line. Okay guys, so now we're going to measure how big we want each square to be. And for reference, if you guys want to use the exact same measurements I used for the rectangles, they ended up being 2.5 inches by 3 inches. So I'm just going to place my ruler right here at the bottom at 2.5 inches, and I'm going to mark a little dash right here. Then I'm going to move it up and place it again on the line of 2.5 inches. And then I'm going to mark another dash, moving it up, lining it right here to 2.5 and then marking the dash and then just do the same to the other side so we're gonna go down here and now i'm just gonna flip my ruler around and draw straight lines where my two dashes are so one two and three So now that we have these three shapes drawn out, we're going to draw the same exact ones on either side. I'm going to do it on the right. Alright guys, so now that we have a grid looking like shape, we're now going to just draw in the details. So basically, this is going to be the front of the snowman. So I want to add a little scarf and buttons. So I'm just going to start to sketch out a little scarf in the front, just like this. And now it's time to color. I am going to take a green, red, and gray to color the buttons and the scarf. I'm also going to outline the scarf and buttons with this black fine liner. Okay guys, so once all of the details are colored in, we're going to take some clear tape and laminate the whole grid. And now we just cut it out. And now we're going to cut these in the middle to split them in half. So I'm just going to take this side and I'm just going to fold it at the line that was drawn right here. And then I'm going to fold this side where the line is drawn again. And we should have like a little table. So what we're basically going to do is leave these three rectangles together. And on the other side where there's no design, we're going to cut it out where the folds are. 
Okay guys, so now to put them all together, we're going to take one of the rectangles and we're gonna match up one of the sides right here. And we're gonna place a piece of tape and just attach it together. And now I'm going to basically fold it over right here and I'm gonna add a piece of tape and place it together. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of excess right here. So we can just fold that over to make a little tab so it's easier to attach and it has a cleaner edge. And just tape it regularly. And then just repeat for the rest of the sides. So this is how it should look at the end with all of the sides taped and there should be one side that's open so you can stuff it. Um, guys, I think we have a problem. Um, so this is all the stuffing I have left. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna need this. So I'm gonna be using plastic bags. I'm actually gonna cut these because the hole is way too small to fit these. And I'll be adding them in sections in here. So I'm just tearing it up and putting it in. And this is such a great way to just get rid of all the waste and plastic. Okay guys, so this is how the final body of the snowman turned out. It's honestly literally so squishy. Like, I don't remember my paper squishies being this, like, squishy and slow rising with plastic bag stuffing. So yeah, this is how it looks, and now it's time to make the head. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna repeat the exact same steps we did in the beginning, but this time we're gonna do the head, and as you guys know, the head of a snowman is typically smaller than the body, so last time I did three inches by two and a half inches this time i'm just gonna reduce five inches on each side so instead of three we're gonna do two and a half inches and instead of two and a half inches for the height we're gonna just do two inches so two by two and a half instead of two and a half by three if that makes any sense so i'm just gonna sketch out the pattern in time lapse and i'll see you guys when i'm done Okay guys, so now that the grid is drawn, I'm going to add the details on the face. So I'm going to be drawing two gray eyes and a smile and a carrot nose. That's as simple as it's going to get. Okay guys, so here is the final finished snowman head. It is so adorable and it's really basic like the design, but it's still like really cute and it's really squishy. Okay guys, so now we're gonna take the body and the head and we're basically gonna stick them together with tape. So I'm gonna take the head and place a piece of tape right here and leave some hanging off to the bottom and then I'm gonna place it in the middle and stick it on then I'm gonna turn it around and place another piece of tape right here then on the other side another piece of tape 
press it down. And on the front, the last piece of tape, we're gonna just place it on right here. And it's all attached. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, here is the finished Paper Squishy Snowman. But it's looking a little basic, so we're gonna make it some accessories. Okay guys, so the last and final step to do is basically just put on the accessories. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape right here on the hat and then I'm just going to stick it on to with the snowman and oh you guys, look at that. And then we're going to take two small pieces of tape and place them on the ends of the arms and we're just going to make them face up like this and put it on the other arm and do the same thing and here is the final paper squishy guys this turned out so cute and it's really jumbo but like not too overly big where it's like too big but it's like the perfect size it's super duper squishy even though we stuffed it with plastic bags and all of the details turned out so adorable and this is just such a festive paper squishy you can make even if you don't celebrate christmas Thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and tried to make this really cute snowman paper squishy and if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and comment down below what other christmas video ideas i should do next and if you do recreate this snowman paper squishy make sure to tag me on whatever video you post and i'll make sure to check it out i love you guys so much and see you in the next video bye